Hello guys and welcome back to Hammer Time with me Alex and today episode 22 now we're getting kicking straight into this it's gonna be brilliant so last time we obviously beat Barcelona 5-0 at home we've advanced through to the Champions Cup group stages the knockout round and actually as you can see on the screen now we've drawn Lille Lille a very interesting side as you can see here they've got quite a nice team set up Jonathan David up front who's a pretty good talent I've got to admit I've been looking at whether or not I should eye him up don't know really they've got Bamba who's also a very good player on that left hand side very fast very paceful very skillful Renato Sanchez a player that I've also been thinking should I should I not buy him I'm in between whether or not I should and then Ikone as well who I know is a pretty good player as well as well as Selic I've been a pretty big fan of Selic um in real life don't know about him in the game I'm probably trying to scout him now a pretty interesting side in Lille because obviously we bought Botman from them which is a very very interesting little, little com competition we're gonna have between each other so yes yeah, since last time we played Everton in a 2-0 loss which is a surprising one we've been in pretty good form then we lose to Everton 2-0 but Charles in the 60th minute and Digne in the 90th minute we just didn't get started in this game which is a shame and Leicester we drew 0-0 with um, pretty boring game overall. We should have probably edged this game just about, but we just couldn't score. Again, a dominated possession and everything. Then away from home to Stoke, we managed to get a goal. Uh, Anthony Marshall in the 23rd... Oh, a win, not a goal. <laughs> Anthony Marshall, 23rd minute. Sean Longstaff on the brink of half-time, scores in the 45th. And then 46th minute, one minute later, Anthony Marshall pretty much replies straight away. Then Brentford, a 3-1 thrashing. Dolberg had an absolutely sensational game in this one. His second goal was a, a stunner into the top left-hand corner. Lewis Cook, though, with probably the goal of the day, off the crossbar, down and out. Beautiful goal. Really nice goal for him to score. And then against Chelsea, at home, we beat Chelsea. Martial in the ninth minute, Dolberg in the 28th. Both of them in pretty fine form at the moment. Mikoko hasn't been able to find a spot in the side since because he's, he's he comes on as a nice, impactful sub, but He's progressing quite well. I mean, not not brilliantly well, but he's he's progressing quite well. Right around the goalkeeper. I'm probably going to double his intensity in training, but he looks he looks all right for now. He looks pretty good for for where we want him to be. So I'm happy with his progression. Today is Aston Villa in the quarter final of the Carabao Cup. Now, as you can see here, a surprising one to leave the 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 probably the stages here, Chelsea have all of a sudden been knocked out by Watford in a 2-1 win for Watford. And you can see here, but they lost to Wolves and they went straight, or they didn't go straight into this game, but they went into the game, I think they went into the game straight after actually. This is the game after we beat them and they probably just carried the full, poor form over. Zayec missing, well not missing, but getting a goal disallowed. And then, oh, I don't even know, Torre uh, manages to get two goals for them. And he looks like a little bit of a player, so... Tottenham doing pretty uh, Tottenham Watford doing pretty well. City to play Fulham today. Southampton advanced through against Reading, but Southampton in the league, if I just quickly show you the league table. Southampton doing very well. They're only one point ahead of us at the moment. We're sitting in fifth. Only five points off second, but then if you look at it, we're twenty points off first, which is pretty mental at the halfway stage of the Premier League season. Sancho with nine assists. Chiesa, I mean, if you look at United's side, let me just show you it dead quick. Greenwood up front, Ronaldo on the left, Sancho on the right. Fernandez sitting in that camera roll. Kimmich they've brought in. Normally they have Kimmich and Pogba. They have Gosens on this left hand side, who's a, a very good left wing back, I've got to admit. Varan, Maguire, Wambasaka and De Gea. Then look at this side. They've got Dean Henderson, Chiesa, Lindelof, Luke Shaw, uh, Van der Beek, Freuler. They've got a lot of players coming through the youth. Rashford, Cavani, Diallo and Pogba all to play as well. Their team is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous on football manager. So today against Aston Villa, tactical meeting. Let's see what we can do. We're going to opposition instructions to get the team lineup. So Dolberg looking pretty, not worse for wear, but a bit tired at the moment. So we're going to bring in Makuko. Makoko. Flipping out. I keep saying it so wrong. Let's 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 change his nickname. Let's. Here we go. M. Coco. There we go. That'll, that'll help me remember. But Makoko just needs to get a bit more game time I think these stats will slowly progress to a higher level a bit more game time and it'll be there next to Martial as a, probably one of our top strikers is Martial he's playing very well at the moment as well McKenny's been playing well Almada's going to come out I'm going to bring in Demir because I think he, he deserves a start in that midfield role I don't know if how well he can play it advanced playmaker attack he prefers to be so I'll probably put that on for him um but he's, he's very good at the moment, been playing in fine form, really good form for Demir. Um, other than that, Botman's going to come back into the side, I'm going to let Diop out. As well as that, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to let Regilon play, 
Ben Johnson has been playing pretty well, actually, so I'm going to keep him in the side. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Dahlberg is off, not off the bench, but I'm going to keep him there. Eze is going to come on to the bench because he's been playing pretty As you can see here, Eze has been hitting form. Eze has been hitting form big time, so I think he deserves a bit of a start out there. So stay that, stay that back on support. We're going to go balanced. We're going to submit the team and just see how we can perform against Aston Villa. Here we have it. So West Ham, we've, had, we've been in fine form. Three wins on the bounce. Before that, a draw and then a loss before that, obviously. I think that was two. Oh, who was that two now? That was Southampton. Can't remember who it was. We basically lost to someone quite... Well, oh, Everton it was. The 2-0 thrashing against Everton. But we, to be fair, we played pretty well in that game regardless anyway. It was just a fact that we were never on the ball enough, should I say. Vlasic with the ball in. It's fallen to Makoko and it's just couldn't put that in the back of the net. I thought he might have just about had that there. Aston Villa, they're a great side and all. But as you can see here, Usting, Mings, Konsa, we should be beating them today. Zuma is found at the back post and just can't get the header into the back of the net. City are already 2-0 up in 15 minutes. So there's, I think we know who winning that game as Douglas Louise puts that way over the bar. As now, we've got another highlight as Sven Botman picks it up deep in our own half. Uh, Demir gives it to Regilon, who Regilon get, likes to get forward like this. Marshall on it, turns, can't find anyone, but McKenney picks it up. Can he maybe pass it back to Ben Johnson, who can get a good whip in? He gives it back to McKenney, who's trying try to play, trying to basically walk into the net at, the point, at this point. McKenney gives it back to Johnson, who, I mean, he's got a good cross on him, so I want to see him maybe give it an opportunity to cross the ball in. Demir finds Vlasic, finds Makoko, and that's putting the back of the net. Now, I think that was onside, Makoko. I think that was on the side big time. We're going to have to try and think of a better nickname than M Coco. Um, but he was on side. Fantastic. 1 0 up against Aston Villa. We're sort of suited to be playing this type of football. And Makoko slips that into the back of the net. Beautiful little passage of play. And we are 1 0 up to the good against Aston Villa. Here we have another highlight. Johnson picks up the ball in the 40th minute from a throw in. And we find Marshall, who's. Well, we're going to see if we can progress the ball a bit more here. Johnson on the ball. Gives it to McKenney. Back into Johnson. Finds Vlasic. Finds Martial. Can he maybe find a cross? And he does. He finds Makoko in the box. And there we have it. 2-0. Makoko scoring two. I'm finding it hard to think of a situation where I can keep both Martial, Makoko and Dolberg in the same side. I'm trying to think whether or not I can bring in a defensive midfielder so I can start playing like 4-3-3 but with like a wide two wide wingers in inside forward so to speak and then a defensive midfielder as well which is what I want to do so I don't know what situation I can sort of keep Dolberg and Makoko because I'm always going to be playing at one or the other striker uh, and Makoko is too good to keep on the bench and keep on the reserves for now because he, as you can see he scored twice here he scored a hat-trick at the new well not at the new camp at the London Stadium against Barcelona so I can't see a situation where we're going to be able to keep keep all three of them it's just going to be difficult for us as Aston Villa are coming forward now looking a bit threatening and Johnson gets that away Martial punts it forward trying to find Makoko just doesn't work Vlasic is looking a bit worse for her so we're going to bring on D uh, Ketelaire Pickering has it now Ronnie not Ronnie Pickering it's a different Pickering El Shirawi is running forward Johnson plays about to John Stone and now Regilon can bring it out from the back can he maybe have a bit of a run down the, the left wing. Now we're going to play inside to Demir, who finds Vlasic. I like, I like Demir in this position, I'm not going to lie. Makoko gets tackled by Douglas Louise, and that is going to be his second yellow. And we're we're looking plain sailing through to the end of this game now. We're going to bring off... We're going to bring off Johnson. We're going to bring... Oh, no, we're not, because I can't afford to do that. We're going to bring off Suchek. We're going to bring on Basuma. And now it's just going to be a case of how many... Can we score against Aston Villa? Demir tries to find Martial. It's a beautifully weighted cross. Makoko's there. De Ketelaire just can't finish and can't make it three. I wish we could have made it three there because it would have been an emphatic win against Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Demir finds the ball in. Has he been pushed? It looks like there might be a push. This is where we're going to see ourselves in a penalty review. It could be... Well, I think I've just bought off to check. Who's going to take it? It's Makoko for his hat trick. He slots in the bottom corner. What a confident penalty! Very confident penalty. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to think of a nickname. If you can think of any nicknames, if you are watching this now, put them in the comments down below. I want to know a nickname that I can use for Makoko. We're coming up to the 90th minute now. It's gonna be the end of the game. 92nd minute, three 0 There's no way they're coming back now. El Ghazi on the ball, back into Pickering. Buendia's on it. They're getting further back. Pickering tries to find the ball forward. He finds Ings, and is that gonna be a console? goal it's going to be a consolation 3-1 again Sam Johnstone I think I can't fault the defense the wing backs are questionable 
I'm thinking of going to a 3-5-2 next season or something along those lines. But the wing backs are questionable, but that really should not be going in the back of the net. I'm not going to lie to you. That shouldn't be happening. But either way, uh, I think that's going to be the end of the game. We're coming up to the last highlight here. 10 seconds remaining of the game. Zuma into McKenney, into Johnst Johnson, Martial, back to Johnson. And the referee's got to blow the whistle now. It's the 93rd minute. As Johnson comes forward. Surely we're not going to get another goal goal here. As he's crossed in, Makoko's there. He's hit the woodwork. And that's going to be a goal kick. But that's surely. He's going to blow the whistle now. He does. We've advanced through. We've got through the dressing room. Very, very well done today. Let's progress forward. Did Man City win? They won 4 0. They won all scored all four in the first half. So now the quarter finals, we're through into the semis. We're gonna see who we can perhaps draw in the quarter, in the semi final. When's the semi final draw? That's the question. We'll have to find out. I'll join you back for when the draw is, because I wanna see who we get. Here we are, we are at the draw. So City, Southampton, or Watford. If we pull City I won't be too discouraged because I know Southampton are great, I know Watford are great, but I think on our day we could possibly take Southampton or Watford. City, on the other hand, I know we beat them 5 0, but they've since sacked the manager. They've brought in, they've not brought in anyone as of yet. They've got an interim manager in Brian Barry Murphy, which is an inter interesting name. But yeah, we hopefully don't pull City as we have been drawn at home to Watford. Southampton at home. To City, big game in there. Watford in the semi-finals. When is that going to be scheduled for? Let's have a look. So that is scheduled for. Oh, it's it's over two legs. Interesting. So that that sees a long period of time before the Champions Cup game. I'll probably bring you the second leg. I'll do that because it allows me to sort of relax and bring out maybe a double double upload day where I do a Carabao Cup semi-final and a Champions League double on like a Sunday or whatnot. So I'll think about that coming forward. Um, it's going to be an interesting pre interesting game actually against Watford. I want to see how well we do because it's over two legs. It's going to be interesting. So yeah, um, I shall catch you in the next episode which will be Watford now, the second leg. Uh, oh, in fact, I might as well just bring you both legs hadn't I, in one big episode and we can do another episode where we bring you the two knockout rounds which are going to be quite hard to film because we've got Tottenham United and City all in between which is going to be very difficult, I think. Incredibly difficult, as well as Arsenal. So we've got quite a hard run in there, not going to lie. So anyway, we'll get back onto the point. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, please leave a like. We're on a bit of a carabao. We're on a cup run at the moment, so it's going to be good. Um, and I shall catch you in the next episode. From me, Alex, have a great day. Ciao.